Godsend do it again. A bit more of a fight from Fnatic, but they couldn't take it over the edge. Uh, Yanko, um, was it a similar story for you? I mean, it was this time around. Godsend didn't win uh, both pistols as well, uh, which is obviously you know, making it easier for them. You could see how Fnatic on their T side, they tried to adapt a little bit. For example, that contact play towards the B-bomb side, them realizing that probably Flasha is there by himself early on, and they, you know, managed to get a kill on him immediately. Basically, uh, Godson just decides to force after that. So you could see uh, attempts of adapting, but Godson was just really, really solid on their uh, T side as well. So James, how do you feel about about this? Because Fnatic are supposed to be the team that are actually more together. Godson have been a bit more inconsistent. They've been the ones struggling. But yet today, um, and from a lot of matches I've seen, you know, there's a lot of teams, like let's say Liquid, for example. You watch Liquid, they're in like disarray as a, a word that Yankee used, and I think that's like a very apt descriptor. Yeah. Godson, that's how I would describe them as well. Like a, and, but today they seem very together. Is it just because they're comfortable playing against their fellow Swedes on a map like Train? Or? I think with a matchup like this, you have to put an asterisk on it because... This, this is a weird mix of people who used to play together. So um, it was good performance from them, but I wouldn't take too much from it until we see them, let's say, at the next LAN, for example, and see how they do versus the, the rest of the Counter-Strike community. All right, that's, that's fair. Do you agree, Yanko? Are you on board with that? Yeah, I think that's a fair statement. All right, well, uh, I guess that kind of wraps it up, unless you guys have any, any points. That you don't have any clips for us, Yanko? Not this time around. Dan. What do we call okay. this again? Because, I mean, now the Swedish derby is over, all this will disappear when we come back Why? for North America. Why can't we just keep it? That's a lot of work, James. Because, because no. Because it's Why? time to... Why do you favor Sweden over North America? Why don't, why don't you get some props for the DNA part of the show? We can order pizzas. You want some pizza? Don't we have, is it uh, Luminosity Immortals who are playing in the NA side of things? So why not get some Brazilian stuff? Well, I mean, if you had mentioned this why earlier... Are so, why are you so biased, James? <laughs> So, guys, we'll see you uh, in about an hour's time. We'll have a bit of a break What do you call up, this again? And then we'll... Uh, uh, Dallehurst. 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 All right, yes. Tickets first. Tickets. We've got to talk about tickets, guys. We want to see you in Anaheim, the 9th to the 11th of December. Not too far away now is when all the teams that you have been watching over the course of the European and North American uh, segments of ECS will come together and battle the top four from each region. And you can go grab yourself some tickets. And if you go to anaheim.csgo.com or csgoleague.com, then you can find yourselves all the information that you could possibly require. And you've got the discount link there as well, the student tickets, which are free if you can prove that you're a student. Um, and that's, that's about it, really. Just hope to see you in Anaheim. We'll be there. Hope to see you there. Yanko's going to be there. Maybe uh, Dali Horst will be there as well. You're going to bring the, you're going to bring the Dali Horst? No, I'm not going to. It's not going to be there. I'm very curious of what you're going to do with that. But, uh, Just put it in the office on a table, perhaps. Great. All right. So we'll see you guys in about an hour's time for some North American action. Bye. It's time now, my brother. Come, follow me. Move it.